there's Carnival up in this house. Oh yeah. Matt Eisman, should they subscribe to my YouTube channel? Absolutely, if you're not, what point is there to living life? <laughs> All right, YouTube. Oh, he's trying to get emotional right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna break down crying as sad. I start this video. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey. Welcome. For those of you who are seeing our channel for the first time, who maybe saw us on Ninja Warrior, like, whoa, that's awesome. Brace yourself for the quickest setup ever. We are on the way to, no, never mind, let me say that again, because I'm always long-winded. Brace yourself for a normal setup. We're on the way to my parents' house. My brother's flight landed this morning at 5 a.m. We're gonna pick up Alexio, we're gonna pray with the family really quick, and then we are heading to Daytona because we compete tomorrow on Ninja Warrior in Daytona. I can't wait! I want you to know what's going through the mind of a Ninja Warrior as he's preparing, as he's getting ready to compete on the show. In the days leading up, what does he do? What does he eat? What does he think? What does he say? Or she. Jesse Graff could honestly, she could, she could whoop me. Okay, anyway. I have two main focuses over the next two days before I compete on Ninja Warrior. Number one, don't do anything stupid because that could lead to injury. So basically what that means for me is don't follow my natural instincts. Because I, if I do what I just normally do on a regular day, my natural instincts are like, hey, climb that tree as high as possible even though it doesn't look sturdy. All the preparation's done, tomorrow we compete. Rule number one, don't do anything stupid over the next two days. I'm gonna be surrounded by ninjas and we're all gonna to wanna to do backflips and stuff. Number two, the second thing I'm gonna be focusing on over the next two days is getting good rest and good nutrition. These are priorities all the time, obviously, but let me tell you why rest is a little bit different when you're leading up to Ninja Warrior. Ninja Warrior is filmed overnight. They film from the moment the sun goes down until the moment the sun comes up and we could compete at any time. And we actually already found out that we're in the second heat, which means we'll compete sometime after midnight. Here's why I tell you all that. Tonight, we're staying up as late as we possibly can and sleeping in as much as possible tomorrow. And I did the same thing last night. So when I say I'm focusing on my rest, I'm really focusing on changing my sleep schedule leading up to Ninja Warrior tomorrow. There you go. Those are a few uh, little Ninja Warrior secrets for you guys. I'm sorry, this setup has been long enough. We're almost at Alexio's house. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bless you. Where is Alexio? Is he showering? Bro, I got you a towel. Morning. I look like booty. Get out of here. Alexio is not really a morning person. Oh. Alright guys, Alexio's in the shower. Mom's about to leave for work. Mom, how excited are you for tomorrow? I made his breakfast. Mom, I love you. We are at the first rest stop. Alexia got a little nappy in. Boy, how you feeling? Bro, you gotta see what's up to YouTube. You're never, ever on YouTube. Uh, what a booty head. Alexio and Jessica taking a quick bathroom break. Oh, I hate driving. Two more hours. Can we get the freak on the road and get to Daytona already? You can know we turn what? the car on so we can have AC? You know what, you guys? I don't want to hear it. Five minutes of no talking for everybody. All right, back on the road. Let's go. Guys, there's our hotel. We staying at La Quinta, son, also known as La Quinta. We love Waffle House. Dude, there is a Waffle House? <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a Waffle House. Chocolate chip, peanut butter waffle. For two years in a row, we have had a Waffle House right after finals. We gotta keep it going. We're staying at La Quinta, and I, I said La Quinta. All jokes aside though, if you say tortilla, okay. or quesadilla, okay. or polo tropical, we can't be friends. There it is, Daytona International Speedway. That is where the Ninja Warrior course is set up. All right, here we are, La Quinta. You first, Lex. Dang, boy. Left bed. These La Quinta Inns mad and nice though, son. Nacho, we got the left bed. No, we got the left bed. 
Wait, did you pay for this room? I already oh, called true. it. No. Wait, did you pay a penny for this room or are you here for free? I'm crapping on the bed as we speak. <laughs> That's my bed. <laughs> Idiot. I already crapped on it. Why did you bring him with us? Because he because I'm the freaking Brazzy Bros. I have to bring him everywhere. I knew I should have submitted my application alone. <laughs> We never pack light for Ninja Warrior. He toaster. He brought a toaster. Dang it. We in Daytona, baby! Gotta get the air muscle ups in. Or cop. First time trying on the new tank top, bro. What do you think? Bro, this is this is definitely the best the graphic has ever done. The Brazilian Hulk. <laughs> Alright, we are pretty much settled into our hotel room. Look at that. Like, we have enough food to feed an army because an army is showing up. My sister and her husband have a separate room. But other than that, me, Alexio, mom, dad, wife, grandma, and Thomas. That's seven people in this one room. So we'll make it work because we're Brazilian and we're used to it. This is potentially history in the making, so we get, let's film this. The Brazil headband might become iconic after this season. <laughs> You're gonna rock a headband, either that one or, or this one. Dude, let's let YouTube vote which one they like better, even though we have to decide by tomorrow. Black? Black looks fresh. Dang, your hair looks so raw. Or the red. I kinda like red. You like red? Alright, I'll go red. Y'all ready to know. We eat buses tomorrow, son. We are gonna head to a backyard course in the area. It's about 20 minutes away. It's a really nice backyard course. And we just want to get over there and hang out with some of the guys who are uh, competing tomorrow. They're over there training. What is rule number one, Alexio? Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. So we're gonna go and we're gonna obey rule number one. Last time we talked, I might have said we were about to leave for Jim's backyard, but that was about two hours ago and we all kind of just fell asleep. Uh, like I said, when it comes to rest, you kind of got to reverse everything. So we slept for two solid hours. I slept a little bit in the car. So I'm feeling really good right now to stay up all night tonight. Now let's go to Jim's backyard. True story, I've yet to meet Jim. I met him over the phone a couple days ago and he might be the nicest guy I've ever met in my life. But he told me to come on over and uh, go straight to the backyard and try this obstacle out. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. This is the obstacle we want to try right here. Let me just feel him. Bro, we got this. Felt good. Felt felt a little bit awkward. I it's just not something you do commonly. I'm always lacheing forward. I've never right. lacheed sideways, so I just want to do it a couple more times, get used to it. We each did the obstacle. We each did the obstacle what? Five or six times? Ten. Five or six times? You think ten? Yeah, you guys did a lot. Really? Yeah. So maybe like eight times. We each did the obstacle a handful of times. <laughs> we feel good about it. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to do anything stupid. We've tried it plenty of times. We know we can land it. That's so we're done. We're one. done. Rule number one. Don't do anything stupid. Jim is the man. I never even got to meet the guy because he's not even home. I got to meet his wife. She's a sweetheart. Jim, I don't even know you and you saved my life. Bomb.com. We are out of here. Wow. Is amazing. Doesn't that taste great? It tastes so good. Dude, the shot looks weird right now, but I'm just going to call it creative art. There we go. It is Thursday night. Around 9 p.m. What time is it, Jess? 9:52. Wow, this is great. Remember, rule number one: do nothing stupid. Rule number two: good flex, rest, good nutrition. Always flex in the mirrors. That's rule number three: always flex in the mirrors. <coughs> right now, we're eating protein shakes. This is literally just kale, spinach, a half a banana each, coconut water, and uh, I slay for this. Can't go wrong, right there. Garden of life. 30 grams of protein, straight up gains. So we're getting our good nutrition in, and we got to find a way to stay up all night. Alexio was in California, so his it sleep feels, schedule. It feels like six right, right now. For me. There's your update. I'm done recording this right now. Getting done up, girls. <laughs> Putting the chapstick on. Guys, it's 11 p.m. I'm working hard to stay awake right now. I am by no means a night person. I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go to uh. A ninja warrior tradition, if you will, called ninja Mm-hmm. Karaoke, but they replaced the beginning of the word karaoke with the word ninja. Are you trying to be my hands? Yeah. 
<laughs> Classic. I put on chapstick because it's freezing outside and you my lips like get girl. my lips <laughs> my lips get so chapped so fast. Like my lips are already Why chapped. Why your lips are so red? Mine are like still looking kind of normal. All right. Praise God. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to Ninja Oki. I can't make any promises on whether or not I'll film any of it. So. <laughs> we should film it, because it'll probably be fun. They'll probably get to see, like, infamous ninjas. Let's go! Alright, it is 3.30 a.m. We went to Ninja Oki. We went to Walmart with James McGrath and our boy, Eddie. 3.30 a.m., that's pretty late. I think we stayed up late enough, what do you think? Yeah, that's solid. Tomorrow we compete around sometime between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., so just trying to get our bodies used to it. Time to go get some sleep, though. I'm tired. It's about 7.45 p.m. We have followed rule number one and rule number two all day. We just woke up from about a two hour nap and we slept in quite a bit this morning and the whole family is pulling up to the hotel right about now. I'm gonna get a call any second and they're staying in this room with us so that will be freaking crazy but I feel as ready as possible right now. I feel good. I feel like a llama bean. Me too. Vai lá pra trás. Vai lá pra trás e vai devagar que você vai me ver. É, vai devagar. Muito bem, Nidia. Cara, tô muito, tô muito, tô muito feliz, tô muito relaxado. Ah, minha amiguinha, você é muito fofo. Vou te dar um beijo quando chegar. <risos> oh, pode parar. Tô te vendo. There they are. There they are. Check-in was 11 p.m. Yep. It's like 10.45. Course is right there. I can't film it, bro. I know, bro. We relax. I'm going to do my best to film tonight. We obviously have to focus and be ready and be warmed up. I'm going to do my best to film as many things as I can. And also, keep in mind, we're on the set of a TV show. When I pull out a camera, security looks at me like, stop. Because they don't want this stuff circulating on the internet before it airs on TV. So just know I'm going to do my best for you guys. Uh, much love, we feeling ready. All right, we just got done checking in. Number 83. Alexia, what number are you? Oh. 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 You first, bro. He wanted me to go first. We have quite a while until we compete based on these numbers. It's like, what time is it now? Almost midnight? So, uh... It's 11:40. We probably we probably won't compete until two. Alexio thinks Alexio thinks we're maybe three. Yeah, two or three. So there you guys have. It. All right, everyone. My name is Thomas. My name's Rafi. And we are the Brazzy Bros best friends. We're on the way to see Lucas and Alexio compete at Daytona International Speedway. Let's go, Buzzers baby! All right, everyone. We have just arrived. This is what happens when you're a Brazi Bros paparazzi. Brazi Bros. 
<sighs> it's 3.41 in the morning. We are in the competitor's holding area. We're running behind, obviously. Alexio is up in about 10 athletes, so they already got him uh, pretty much ready with his number warming up and stuff. I run about five or six athletes after him, so we're super excited. Uh, it's obviously really early in the morning, but uh, we feel really good. We, we spent a little bit of time napping. It is cold out here, by the way. Sweetheart, do you know the temperature? Um, I think it's like 50. He's in the bathroom. He's the, I'll tell him to go that way. Okay. What number is he? He's 67, I think. There he goes. This is it, guys. Let's go. Alexio and I ran the course. It didn't go great. Just kidding. Alexio was 15th out of top 30, and for the first time in Brazi Bros Ninja Warrior history, I was 10th, which means I ran faster than Alexio tonight. Oh man, I'm not liking this. Hey! hey what's up? So, what does this mean? We will be back here today at 6 p.m. because it's like 6 in the morning yeah. um, for finals, dude. The fans of my YouTube channel, all 30 of them, <laughs> <laughs> are really familiar with you. Like you're you're in every other video lately. I'm happy about that. So let me so let me just go I ahead feel, and tell I them. I feel like the lost, slightly tanner bra Brazilian brother. I was in like <laughs> the suburbs of Rio. If you just watched the episode of Ninja Warrior, then you know JJ is going to the finals. Redemption. So he is joining us in the finals, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this all together. All right, guys, we just ran. The qualifying course. You I didn't run it. You crushed it. Let's oh, go, yeah. baby. Aussie bros. It was carnival up in this house. Oh, yeah. Matt Eisman, should they subscribe to my YouTube channel? Absolutely. If you're not, what point is there to living life? <laughs> so I'll Lucas take... and Alexio, check these bros out. So, hit this subscribe video. right here. Right there. Right there. Hit Do it, it now. Hit it. Do it. Ah!